A dam is a structure built to generate electricity, store a staggering amount of water, and control flooding. These structures are so massive that it gets you wondering, how are they built? Stick with me as we break down the construction process of a dam in eight simple steps. Step one, selecting the right location. The first step to building a dam is selecting the perfect location for setting up the structure. We already know that we can't build a dam in a desert or erect one in a forest. Hence, the structure must be erected in a terrain with abundant flowing water like rivers or streams. To select a suitable location, engineers and geologists will work together to find a site with the right geological conditions and hydrological characteristics. They will conduct extensive surveys and tests to ensure the ground can support the weight of the dam and that the location will provide the desired water storage capacity. More importantly, when choosing the location for the dam, environmental impact assessments have to be conducted to assess the potential effect of the construction on local ecosystems, wildlife, and communities. Step two, designing the dam. Once the site is selected, the design phase begins. Engineers create detailed blueprints and construction plans for the project. They will also use advanced computer models to simulate the dam's performance under various conditions. This ensures the structure will be safe, efficient, and durable throughout its lifespan. During the design phase, the engineers will have to critically assess and analyze the ground conditions of the site. Apparently, the topography and geological conditions of the selected site are major determinants of the type of dam to be constructed. For example, if the location is a steeply sided rock ravine, then the engineers will consider designing an arch dam or a gravity dam. The drawings and construction details of a dam must contain key design elements like the dam's height, width, and shape, as well as the design of spillways and outlets to manage water flow and prevent overflow. A detailed foundation for the selected dam type will also be presented in the drawings. After rigorous observation and necessary amendment, the drawings will be approved, ushering us into the next phase. Step 3. Construction Estimation this stage requires the quantity surveyors to prepare an estimate of the probable cost needed to complete the dam construction. The bill of quantities or construction estimate prepared for civil engineering construction is somewhat different from that prepared for building construction. While a majority of building elements are properly measured in building construction BOQ, most work items in civil engineering construction are estimated as provisional sums. To clarify this context, provisional sums represent a financial allowance set aside in a bill of quantities to cover specific items of work that cannot be fully defined at the time of tendering. These items typically include unforeseen or incomplete work, variations, or quantities that are difficult to estimate accurately. When preparing estimates for dams, it is important to note that the budget is often subjected to review. In some instances, the initial estimates might exceed the actual expenditure and vice versa. Step 4. Excavation and Foundation Having organized the drawings and financial resources, the construction will begin properly. The first part of the dam to be built is its foundation. You can check this video above to get a clear breakdown of the different types of foundations. To build a firm foundation, the construction team will have to carry out massive excavation. However, this procedure presents a huge problem that needs to be resolved quickly. You see, the river where the dam is to be constructed stands as an obstacle for the entire work schedule. I mean, how do you carry out foundation excavation in running water? To resolve this situation, the construction team will first divert the flowing river through a different channel. This can be done by excavating a route by the adjacent side of the river and then linking it to the side upstream and downstream of the river. This way, the water flow will be diverted through this channel. However, water will not immediately change its course by default. This is where a coffer dam comes in. A coffer dam is an enclosure built within a body of water to allow the enclosed area to be pumped out or drained. In the case of dam construction, two coffer dams are usually built. The first one is set up upstream of the proposed site. This will block the initial waterway, forcing the flowing water to find another route. Hence, the water will take the diversion created at the adjacent side of the river, thereby draining the site needed for the dam construction. The second coffer dam is set up downstream to prevent water from flowing back into the construction site as the work progresses. After this process is completed, the construction team will begin clearing the area of vegetation, rocks, and debris. The foundation is made predominantly of reinforced concrete carefully cast as designed in the construction plan. Furthermore, 
drainage systems will be installed to manage groundwater and prevent it from undermining the foundation. Step 5. Building the dam structure. Now that the foundation has been erected, the engineering team will proceed to build the dam structure itself. The construction method used depends on the type of dam to be erected. For gravity dams, large quantities of concrete are poured into forms, layer by layer. Each layer is allowed to cure before the next is added, ensuring a solid monolithic structure. Arch dams use reinforced concrete, shaped to curve upstream. The arch shape helps distribute the water pressure more efficiently, requiring less material than a gravity dam. Earth-fill dams, also known as embankment dams, are constructed using compacted earth and rock. These materials are placed in layers, with the core of the dam often made from impermeable clay to prevent water seepage. Step 6. Constructing Spillways and Outlets Spillways and outlets are essential components of any dam. Spillways allow excess water to flow safely downstream, preventing overflow and potential damage to the dam. Outlets are used to control the release of water for irrigation, hydroelectric power, and other purposes. Check out this video to see what happens when you fall into a spillway. Step 7. Final Inspections and Reservoir Filling once construction is completed, thorough inspections are conducted to ensure the dam meets all safety standards. Any issues identified are addressed before the reservoir is filled. Filling the reservoir is a gradual process, carefully monitored to ensure the dam performs as expected. This process can take several months to a few years, depending on the size of the reservoir and the inflow rate. Step 8. Maintenance and Monitoring the dam is just the beginning. Regular maintenance and monitoring are crucial to ensure the dam's long-term safety and functionality. Instruments are installed to measure stress, strain, and water levels, providing real-time data to engineers and operators. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of engineering.